First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. Here he is now, Scott Flansburg. Good morning, Scott. Good morning. Hey, Bill. Thanks for having me, guys. Although you're not, uh, I mean, you're traveling the uh, the country. Uh, you're in Florida right now, right? I had my first corporate gig and school visit yesterday, and it was a golf outing for a water company here, and a guy, and I, they had me on a par three all day hitting shots just to meet everybody, and uh, a guy hit a hole in one and won twenty five thousand dollars. So wow, it was a fun that's day. cool. Yeah, wow. So this is your first since the pandemic. Yeah, I just I wouldn't do any schools forever mm-hmm. until you know uh, this school yep. we've figured yep. out how to do it and uh, it was just yesterday it was just felt amazing it's been uh, f- uh f- almost 500 days since i did a school visit so Boy, yeah it that's was great. crazy uh okay yeah. we uh, today is national maths day right yeah <laughs> i've been <laughs> listening to you guys we got to talk about this yeah yeah um, america just like we don't use the metric system we're the only ones that say math there there is no math uh the, the word is actually mathematics, and right. it ends with an S, which is plural. And so the rest of the world just uses maths to represent that plurality. Um, but Americans just, you know, the way we're wired, we just try to make it as short as possible. So we went to math. Uh, and so as I tour the world talking about mathematics or maths, it is funny when I slip in a math and, and they remind yeah, me that yeah. we're the ones. So, yeah, and you guys just, you know, Cinco de Mayo, yeah. five five. All okay. right. Now, yeah. little things about this, okay? Okay. Uh, the word cinco is, in Spanish means five, and cinco has five letters. So that's just like in English, four has four letters, okay? So you mm-hmm. got cinco. And May 5th is the 125th day of the year in a non leap year. And 125th day, 125, that's wow. five times five times five. That is really so, cool. And, um,. You guys mentioned that there's 148 <laughs> events in May, holiday, or, you know, different weird days. Yeah, it's crazy. There's 31 days, 140 events. That averages out to almost five events per day this month. Uh, and I think they skip, like, Memorial Day probably. They just like, well, we'll let Memorial Day be Memorial Day. and, and Yeah. You know, but it, so, it's crazy. And so, the, the, you know, the World Math Day thing, this is an event that was invented by a girl in, in Australia for a company called Mathletics. She was one of the founders. Mm-hmm. And they put on this event, and they hired me as a global ambassador. And for every year, I would travel the world and visit the winning schools and take the kids on Good Morning New Zealand or whatever. And um, in 2010, we actually set a Guinness World Record for the largest online educational event, Wow, um, which still goes on. And so Mathletics is still rocking. They're a great company, but the founders changed. They got went public and stuff, so I'm no longer working for them. But uh, they put on a great event every year that promotes numerous nice, and other nice. events, educational events as well. All right, and let's talk about, uh, for those that have not heard a single thing, and they came out this morning uh, from Under the Rock, uh, explain what it is that you're planning to do and why in Herkimer in a, nut- in a <laughs> nutshell, if you can. Yeah, well, the game of basketball was invented by Naismith in Springfield, and he sent a flyer to everybody on the East Coast, all the YMCAs, and this kid in Herkimer took and ran with it and came up with a bunch of rules that he submitted to Naismith as well as he came up with the rim, the net. They had the first game with a rim and a net and actually innovated the backboard. Uh, so we're celebrating this man. His name's Lambert Will. He was celebrated in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 1992 at the 100-year anniversary of basketball, and he was celebrated for innovation. And so that's what we're building in Herkimer is a Lambert Will Fieldhouse and Event Center to celebrate this this guy from Herkimer who had such an amazing impact in basketball at the earliest stage possible. And, and, and so, yeah, mm-hmm, go ahead, Bill. Well, I'm just saying, and and, and there's been a, a kind of a You've been on a quest to ultimately bring people in uh, to build this, and and but on top of that, you've been on a, a quest to go after a certain building in particular. Yeah, it's so exciting, you guys. This is what's amazing about this story. This kid, Lambert Will, in 1891, he was a teenager, a volunteer at the Y, and he did all these innovations to basketball. And the president of the Y was a guy named Quackenbush. And there's a beautiful factory in Herkimer, the Quackenbush factory, this guy started as a, at, at Remington Arms as a teenager and was a savant, and he, you could just tell he was get, brilliant because here's what he did. He invented the extension ladder at 16 years old, sold the patent, and then started building that factory so he could build his other inventions. And he had over 50 patents and built them all in this factory right in the middle of Herkimer. Wow. And it's just been sitting there for 15 years, falling into the ground, 
And um, I want to celebrate Mr. Quackenbush's legacy because he ran the Y where this happened with basketball. So he played a pivotal role. And his wife actually raised the $1,200 back in 1890 to make the YMCA a reality. They started the library and the bank. So Mr. Quackenbush was the man. And Herkimer and Thomas Edison used Herkimer as the first arc lighting village. And, you know, just all the innovation there yeah, with these yeah. guys. So th- that's why we want to turn the Quackenbush building into a STEM learning center for kids on the first floor, STEM learning and retraining for adults on the second floor. And the third floor is going to be an incubator and business center uh, to help promote the economy and innovators here in the Mohawk Valley and wherever. Uh, and so it's a, the... The village and the idea have been, uh, you know, talking about this for 15 years, yeah, yeah. and it got solved last month. And just on Monday night, Bill, uh, um, the IDA um, offered to give the Quackenbush factory to the village of Herkimer, and the village of Herkimer will, in turn, give it to us to do this. And so we're just beginning that paperwork. It looks, I mean, I'm waiting until it's done, but it's a dream yeah. come true, Bill, because I'm all about STEM. Well, this is all about to, uh, it, it all seems to be lining up. The stars are lining up for you here. It's a miracle. The village is coming together. The mayor, the, the, uh, the, a lot of the politicians have been very supportive. They're really getting behind this. And um, we've got a lot of people in the valley. Um, we're doing an event next month in Utica with the Innovation Collective Group. Uh, it's June 12th. And mm-hmm. we're going to promote our project a bit more there because we'll have a lot more of our ducks in a row, if you will. Um, you know, so, yeah, Bill, thanks for bringing that up because, you know, it has been a long year. And, you know, we're doing the event center for the basketball story. But the Quackenbush factory plays such a huge role in Herkimer's history that we, we really had to, you know, do what we could to try to save that building. Yeah. So that's where we're at now. Well, congratulations. That is a uh, that's a big deal. All right. Seeing it's National Maths Day, before we let you go, uh, you got a little something we can you can throw at us here? Well, you know what I want to do? Uh, just one quick thing. The National Counting Bee is in November, and it's in Herkimer, but it's nationwide. And so if any schools could register, it's a free contest. You can download the rules, run a counting bee in your classroom or your school, and we're looking for the fastest human calculators in each age group, uh, and the event will be in November. So we're going to have a PR event in Herkimer next month to give people more information That's about really how cool. to do that. And one last thing, Bill. I know you guys got Rob Esch coming up. Mm-hmm. God bless him for what he did with the Comets in Utica. And, you know, I can't wait to see how he's going to pivot here. But the, the thing is, is we're bringing a basketball team to Herkimer from the ABA called the Herkimer Originals. Alice Cooper came up with that name because we had the original rim and net and so on. Yeah. And I'm, my goal is to even come close to what Rob has done with the Comets and incorporating it into the community of Utica and the Mohawk Valley. I hope we can do even close to the same in Herkimer. So God bless him and all the stuff that Comets have done here. And uh, looking forward to seeing what they do next. Love so it. thanks, you guys, for having me. And thanks for the time. And all right. Jeff, stay healthy, buddy. Thank uh, you, man. You know? All right. And yeah. a- Andrew, we're glad you're doing better, buddy. Talk to you guys soon. Thank thanks you so much, Jeff. Scott Flansburg. The team Flansburg. should be the Mohawk Valley Mathletes. The, the mathletes. basketball <laughs> team. That's what they should be. Gold. All right. I like it. All right, Scott. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Cheers. Uh, Later, man. Scott Flansburg and what they're doing there. I mean, if this thing can just come to fruition, and it seems like it's beginning to move forward. Um, it would transform downtown Herkimer, which, as you know, over the last 50 years has been transformed. Uh, n- not so well. Yeah, like the, uh, what's the time travel machine? <laughs> yeah, kind of like, like that, that a little bit, yeah.